Hey guys, welcome to the 65th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use bitwise operators a little bit. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a short. And just set that short to equal to 3 for right now. So in previous tutorials, we looked at bits just a little bit. But in this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to use bits just a little bit more. So in order to better understand bits, go ahead and open up the calculator, go to view, and change that to programming. Now, as you can see right here in this panel, we have the different ways that we can represent um, numbers. We can represent them in hexadecimal, decimal, octal, which we're not going to get into, and uh, binary. And um, we're going to be looking at binary for right now. And first, we're going to be looking at how to represent numbers in binary. So how would we represent a 1? Well, we're just going to go up the decimal up here and type in a 1, and then go back to binary so we'll convert it into um, binary. So a 1 in decimal is a 1 in binary. Well, how do we represent a 3? Because there's no 3 character in binary. There's only um, a 1 or a 0. So if we type in 3, as you can see, we get 1, 1. Well, we're going to be looking at the um, invert operator today. And what the invert operator will do is it will invert these bits. Or since there's only um, two ways you can represent them in a 0 or a 1, it will invert them to whatever it's not. So since it's not a 0, it will convert it into a 0. And that's another thing that they call the um, invert operator. They call it not. So since this is not a zero, it'll convert it into a zero, and the same thing with this. However, in front of all um, binary numbers, there are a bunch of zeros. And the way to get the number of zeros in front of um, this number right here is find out how many um, bits there are in the number. And since we are working with a short right here, and there are a maximum of 16 bits in this number, we know that there are 14 zeros right here because if we added these two it would make 16 so since there cannot be any more bits there must be 14 zeros right here so if we were to use the invert operator it would convert all of these zeros in front of here to ones and it would convert um, these two ones right here into zeros and like I said before since these zeros would not be a one we would convert them into a one so let's go ahead and use the invert operator or the not operator right here on this 3. In order to do that, you're just going to want to um, type out a little squiggle. And in order to do that, you're just going to want to hold shift and go above your tab key and click the key right there. There should be a little squiggle on it. Just hit that. And as you can see, we now have a squiggle. And like I said before, this will invert this 3. And since this is a uh, 3 in binary, we'll just invert it and we'll get two zeros and a bunch of ones. So in order to view binary as a string in C sharp, we're going to have to use the convert dot to string method. And then we're just going to first put the value that we want to convert into a binary string. We want to convert our short or our inverted three into a string. And we have to put a comma right here and a second um, parameter that we're going to pass through. And we're just going to put a 2 right here, so it tells it that we want it to be in, a, in binary. So it should be only 1s and zeros. So now we're just going to display this value in a message box so that we can see um, what it did or what it converted it into. So right here, we should, we're just um, using the invert operation on this 3, so we should get um, 14 ones right here and two zeros in a message box. Yep, 14 ones and two zeros. I'm not going to count the ones. And you can do this with any number. For example, if you want to do this with a five, put five there. Let's see what a five is in uh, binary. So let's go to binary now. We get one zero one. So what it will do is it will convert um, these. 13 zeros in front of this 101 right here all into ones. It will convert this 1 into a 0, this 0 into a 1, and this 1 into a 0. So now in a message box we should get 
13 zeros, or 13 ones, a zero, a one, and a zero. Yep. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to get into a little bit more bitwise operators because we only looked at one in this tutorial. So, see you guys.